Hello everyone and welcome back to whatever we're playing. How do you want to do this? I mean, we have got a win streak of four, even though we're trying for unlocks, we're trying for achievements, and we have just won two greedier mode runs in a row, so I don't think I'm going to tempt fate. Why don't we try and do an Isaac run that goes to the, um, the Delirium fight? And we start with Ludovico technique, which I am going to take. Honestly, the Ludovito technique could be amazing for us against um, Delirium. This thing cannot be killed with Ludo. Okay, good. <laughs> it's touching my fucking shots. Ooh, what do you do here? You take Incub. What do you think Incubus does with Ludovito technique? I don't think it will be very good, but I do want. Demon Baby. Demon Baby will help me with anything that gets too close. And there's no point taking the Book of Belial, uh, because we already have a spacebar item. However, we just got to deal with the devil on the first floor. Which means our next deal with the devil is not only guaranteed, because it's the first real one, but we already have deal with the devil precedent. Help. So this is already working out really well. Demon Baby is actually uh, one of my favourite items and most, well, most people are saying Northern Lion doesn't really give it that much credit, although he does tend to take it rather than leave it behind. Um, the reason I like it is that anything that gets close to you gets mown down with, you know, an automatic machine gun set of demon tears. It's actually quite strong. I've just had such a good greed mode run that I think I can fly and do a shitload of damage. What you do here is you hide in this corner and then you hope to kill things. I was actually hoping that that enemy was not smart enough to pathfind around those pots that it did. Luckily we got out of it. Um, I want to blow up these because there's a bomb in it. These because there's a chest in it. And in all cases I'm hoping to find a um, like a quarter or some money or something. We did get Swallow Penny, which is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no way of getting back into that deal with the Devil, because now that we have a reroll, I'd like to reroll the Book of Belial again, but I, th I think we're okay accepting that we got a opportunity. We took uh, the Demon Baby. We could have taken Incubus, but I made the executive decision that it would suck. Um, and I think I made the correct executive decision, to be quite honest with you. This is a Demon Baby room, if I've ever seen one. Uh... Shot moves at the same speed as us. Uh, yes, yeah, so we took we took the deal with the devil in the best way that I think I could have because I don't think Incubus would be very good and it cost us two HP, which is too much for what it was. This is only a uh, basement one, but it I thought I could dodge, but there was a thing in the way. But it's such a big floor. Look at the size of this floor. Uh, and Book of Belial is no good for us, but we can't be ungrateful because we that deal with the devil shouldn't have happened. That was a first floor deal with the devil. So our next deal with the devil is the first one we could actually be, you know, have any hope of uh, of making good on. So we've already made okay on a deal with the devil we shouldn't have had, which is 100% value. There's no there's no problems there. I can't, I can't be salty about it. I am completely happy to have Demon Bay because look how much damage it's doing. It's really, really helpful. And I will take my cube of I'm not going to explore this floor anymore because it's really long. And we'll keep the uh, blank rune just to see what happens. We are, I was wondering, we're playing hard mode. It's just that we've had two basements in a row and the troll engine is not usually that nice to me. I do like Ludovito technique because you can stay away from enemies. But the other reason I like it is that there's so many opportunities. That is the secret room. I am correct. So there's two re-rolls on this floor, plus the one we came down here with. Um, if we can get Brimstone, I am not going to be ashamed for taking it. You will not make me feel ashamed of taking it. I don't really care for Kane's other eye, or Kane's eye, because I'd rather just buy the compass, quite honestly. Uh, there are so many opportunities for Ludovica Technique to be amazing. Uh, even technology Ludovica Technique is pretty decent. Um, ooh, we will take Polyphemus without a reroll, which means we get two rerolls on the boss item and one on the deal with the devil if we want. 
there's a chance we get two on the deal with the devil. That has literally just increased our damage, and that's it. Doesn't even ma matter how far away we are from it. Polyphemus is uh, now just a great item. I'm going to put a bomb here. I can't, because I don't have one. Uh, I was going to get a key out of it, but apparently that's not an option. We're going really slowly, mostly because I can't see where I'm going. And Ludo does... Yeah, I think we take Flat Penny. Uh, this is not a greed mode run, so we don't need to worry about our, our financial situation, and keys are often really, really useful. Now, you've got to remember what you're doing. You're going down to the Void, which means we probably have to fight Hush. But I will reserve judgment on whether that's a good idea or not. Uh, the reason being, it could be a terrible Hush run. There is another battery charge. If it's a terrible Hush run, I will hope to get a Void portal from the, the usual path up through uh, Blue Baby. And if we don't get it then, then we just try again, you know? It's not like we're going to stop playing this game. Uh, because we don't have all the unlocks immediately. I will save my bomb. I don't really need the Spirit Heart right now. I might be able to get some more benefit out of it. Or if you find another bomb, then I will use it to open up the Tinted Drops. I have a feeling it could be somewhat better for us. I will go into the shop with this much money, though. Uh, where we get... Blue candle for seven cents is okay. We could buy a seven cent item and then re-roll. I think that's actually a good idea. So we take the candle, we re-roll it, we get steam sale. So we just paid seven cents for steam sale, which is unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll buy the stopwatch because it's great, and we'll buy this bomb so we can take that tinted drop. Yeah, that was a decent, uh, decent shop. I'm glad I went to it. Spirit Heart is fine. The reason I'm glad I went to that shop is that we can just take one of the free rerolls we have all over the ground, bring it into this deal with the devil. Taking a little bit of time, but we don't have to do boss rush, and I don't care about it. I could have gone into the bar, uh, shop for a bomb, but I think it was actually a good idea not to. Yeah, this is already a great run, and I'm hoping to get something amazing. Obviously, we always are. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing the game, right? game has a lot of opportunity to be sweet ass. Uh, that does me no good. It's interesting. Okay, what you do here is you spend 2 HP, well half your HP on this. Like that. You take this and then you do it again. We get a pill. The pill is, I can see forever. That's fine. Blank rune. It's a perth rope. Which gives us a guppy item and another blank rune. We will take the guppy item. Degas. We will take the Dagars. We will re-roll this into the box, which is okay. Uh, I do quite like that as a trinket, but we are, we've are got a bead on guppy, so I think I'm not going to take it. The speed upgrade is nice, and the Hierophant I just used straight away. Sorry, Hierophant. Uh, and I think now we go to the curse room. No reason not to. I will also go through here see what this room has for us. Uh, I'm not really looking for speed right now. I'm, I'm looking for speed in terms of the character, but I'm not looking for speed in terms of the run, because I want to make sure we do our best. Uh, and the curse room contains nothing of great value, but that's okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I can't really... I have nothing bad to say about this floor, apart from the fact that I can't seem to find the super secret room, which is here. We have five bombs, which should actually explode that. Uh, the super secret room is full of... Um, runes, which I don't know what to do with. Nor do I know how to kill these things with my... Ludovito technique here. Hagalaz saves us a bomb here. Probably should have taken that... Um, trinket before we did that. Dagars I'll just use. I don't know if that was a good idea. A was I would definitely just use. It's a trip to the next floor. Perthrow, Perthrow. Might as well keep a Perthrow rune. It's a free reroll. Plenty of keys, plenty of money. This is fine. This is a great floor. I know I spent longer on it than you normally would expect. Uh, but we have so much stuff now. <laughs> I, I don't want to call it a win because Ludovica technique is very hard to deal with. But... We are in a very strong position. We only have to play badly to lose it. Uh, we 
which is entirely an option. Don't let me pretend it's not. But that's all we can do to lose this is be bad at the game, right? It's not like the game is in a bad position. And I'm hoping beyond hope that uh, the Luda Vito technique will turn out to be amazing for us. So I will reroll this even though it's great. The kidney bean is actually shit. I will use my Perthro rune to get Sagittarius, which is a speed upgrade. I don't know what it does about a uh, penetrative shot, but at least my Ludovita technique now looks like a Star Destroyer. Uh, so that seems a little bit more appropriate than it did previously. This room's okay. I wouldn't mind a Tears upgrade, actually. If there's anything we want on this run, it's a Tears upgrade. Did you see uh, Demon Baby just now just owning the shit out of that thing whilst I wasn't even paying attention? Very much appreciated. Not gonna do that, it's not a daily. Ha ha ha! Today's daily was the Azazel daily. I've been playing a lot today. I'm trying to get a bit of a backlog under me. What is this? It's question marks. It's full health. That's full. good to know, but we don't need it right now. Plenty of keys because of this trinket, which we... Honestly, I was very tempted to swap the trinket out for the... Callus, because the Callus is actually a really good trinket, because it can get you a lot of things that you otherwise couldn't reach. Of the spikes, basically. And uh, it makes you immune to creep as well, so... That's nice. I will take the blue map for seven cents. I will re-roll for free. I will take my five cents, thank you. I will take a three cent spirit heart, even though we don't necessarily need it. We'll pop this bomb in here and re-roll again. We'll take the actual map. We'll take this dice shard. We'll re-roll again because I can. We don't really need Mama Mega. It's an okay item, but you have to keep it for such a long time. We will take restock. <laughs> Uh, uh, which gives us Isaac's head, which is bad. A speed upgrade, which is great. Speed and the two of clubs, which I would just use straight away because I'm going to blow this up again. I'm basically going to reroll this shop until this machine breaks. I'll also take the compass when I can, which is not now. Okie dokie. Spent all my money on stuff, but that was bad. That room turned out to be a lot harder to understand than I expected. Now we know where all our secret rooms are. That's some money. We've got more than enough money. Spending a key on a golden chest in the expectation to get some money is basically a no-brainer. It's what you're going to do. You don't want to. You do want to do that. I put my money in this machine by accident, but that's okay. Uh, we will go and re-roll the charm of the vampire, which I don't really like. If we don't like what we get, we can re-roll it again. It's probably the bean. It's wait what? Which means I'm going to do this, but it doesn't help. Re-roll again. No, stop giving me these absolutely absurd items which have no value. We could we have full mapping now. We can re-roll the mind if we wanted to, because that is what happens when you get a free steam sale. Oh, okay, a seven cent steam sale. We need a tears upgrade and we need a shot speed upgrade, I think. I think shot speed determines how fast your Ludo technique tier moves, that would make sense. And tears determines how often it ticks when it is over an enemy. So either of those things are still value valid. We have a 24 tier delay, probably because we picked up Polyphemus. We have a massive amount of damage. Which, uh, I suppose you can understand why that is a problem. And the main reason it's a problem, I'm just going to leave, uh, is because Ludovica technique has to be able to catch up with the enemy in order to continually do the ticks of damage that it needs to do to do uh, the big amount of damage that it can do. I didn't manage to buy the compass, unfortunately. But, you know, there's still an opportunity to get it from um, something else. So, each tick of damage is big, but we have to succeed in those ticks of damage. I knew there was nothing in this room of value, and yet I came in here. At least we got the stopwatch ages going. It's full health, right? Yeah. I'll keep full health. Um, we got the stopwatch, means whenever we get hit, you know, we uh, slow all the enemies down, which is quite nice. Yeah, we should probably look for Magic Mush or something. We've had such good luck with this run that it would be silly not to try. Something's wrong. Speed up, that's fine. Speed. We're nearly at max speed, actually, which is great. We just need to get our tiers to catch up with that. We haven't had any tier benefits. The only thing we picked up to help our tiers is uh, Polyphemus, which is great, don't get me wrong. But it's massively reduced our fire rate, which means... As noted, you have to try and keep up with enemies when playing with your Ludovico. Which, uh, sounds worse than it is. I'm really, really pleased that I picked up uh, Demon Baby on the first deal with the devil that we shouldn't even have had. 
because it's it's allowing me to allow enemies to get close to me without worrying too much about it. Also, I'm very upset by these bomb flies being so close to me. This is, of course, the downside of Demon Baby is that bomb flies will explode in your face. In your face, bomb, bomb flies, bomb. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I'm down with that. Explode in your face. In your face, bomb fly, bomb fly, bomb fly. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, open up. Thank you. That was a Northern Lion technique. This is tears up. Yes, that's what we like. There's a tears up grape pill in our rotation. Let's go over there. I just realised I can't kick a bomb into its mouth if. Uh, Demon Baby is going to shoot my bomb in the wrong direction, and I can't shoot a bomb into its mouth because I have Luda Beach. So, I guess whatever. This could just take a little couple of minutes, so hang on tight. We'll be there soon. Demon Baby is actually trying to give it credit. And another tears upgrade, please. It's a range upgrade. I don't know if that helps us. I will re-roll it if I don't like it. Uh no. <laughs> Steven. Get out of here. What is this? Crapjacks. Crapjacks more like. Where's my item room? Give me an item and let me get out of here. Now that I've got all these abilities to reroll, I am not here for your shenanigans that do not allow me to use it. Game. Don't really want any of this. But we can take... I will blow up the donation machine to get a 3 cent battery charge for my boss fight. Because I'm a bad person. Oh, I'm walking to there. I accidentally went into the curse room. This only happens in carry-on films. Jesus juice. Yes, yes, yes. So I don't know if range helps our shot speed any. I don't think it does. I feel like it should, because range is useless for Ludo, right? That was bad damage. Uh, but I don't feel like my shot's any faster. But it's ticking slightly faster, so that's good. And we do have a tears upgrade in our rotation, so we can think about that. In the future, camera fucking Kazi. Alright? You've made me do this game. You have given me the desire and the ability to continually reroll. So I'm going to, whether you like it or not. You give me so many shitty spacebar items. The problem is we have the D6, and the D6 is a great spacebar item already. So there is already a low barrier to entry, a high barrier to entry for being a good spacebar item, and yet you have consistently given me spacebar items that are not even good enough to take when we don't have the D6, let alone spacebar items that are good enough to take when we do have the D6. Oh. Rant, rant, rant. Apparently, Flame Tears works with Ludovico technique. I'm happy with that. And not just that, it seems to just come out of our face. Does this help? Yes. It literally increases our range by a great deal. But I feel like my shot speed is faster? No, it's not. Okay. I will keep the penny because range is useless. Unless we can get shot speed up, I am not interested in a tear effect. Well, I obviously want tears up as well. I'm not interested in range. Damage would be nice, but you have plenty of it. I think that is a tears upgrade right there. It is. Very nice. And uh, yeah, small rock also super helps. So full health pill. We have actually got red HP and we can sell it to the devil on this floor if we choose. Blue HP is also nice. That is not a secret room, although I was about to put a bomb there to find out. And then I realised we know all that. We still could use the mine for the the world uh, compass part of mapping, but do I want to go to the shop? I really don't, actually. Yes, locust of famine. That's not the explodey one. I think that's the poisony one, which would make sense. Uh, no, that would be locust of pestilence, surely. I wonder what locust of famine does. Let's blow up some of these. We should be able to get four at a time. got a trinket I don't really care about. It's fine. 
Um, we are on the depths one, so we will get a boss item that we can re-roll and possibly a deal with the devil, but not hugely likely. Our damage is huge. If we can keep getting these tiers upgrades, that is also going to be super helpful. Brownie, please don't do that thing where you spaz out. Ooh, that was very lucky. Why are you slow? What did I do to deserve you being slow? Great. Polydactyly. <laughs> the thing about Ludovica technique right now is it's making me question whether most of the items I'm seeing are items I want. I think we can get good use out of... Yeah, let's, let's take Lil Brimstone because it's half price. And we'll reroll that. We'll get a luck upgrade and some... Uh... Spirit Heart, a uh, Spirit Heart, I think, and some keys. I'm not going to finish that floor, I don't give a shit about it. We're going very slowly, but we are not quite too slow yet. So I want to go this way to see if that's the item room. Kind of don't really want to do this room at all, but Lil Brim helps. Lil Brim is another one of those familiars that is super helpful when our Ludovico Tiki tier has gone AWOL, basically. Although Lil Brim being at the back is not as useful as Lil Brim being anywhere else. Where is our tier? Sometimes I listen to what I said just after I've said it and wonder if it was what I meant to say. And it turns out it was, which surprises me because it's the first time I've heard it. I did mean to say AWOL, but I didn't realise that I was saying AWOL until I'd already said it. That was pretty good. Try and get a pin... Hopping J. That didn't work. Don't know where you expect a pin to pop up, you see. Especially on this room where it's all bouncy. This was, in fact, the uh, item room, so I was correct to come in this direction. What is this? Question marks. It's a bad trip pill, which is bad in general, but in this particular instance, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, let's see if we can get something good out of our super secret room as well, because we know where it is. I'm actually using Little Brimstone slightly more exclusively than our actual tier, even though our actual tier has great damage, because it's so hard to control. Uh, except in this situation, where we don't need to control it because the enemies are not moving. Well, I got hit by something I didn't even realise was there. Which is how I get hit most of the time, to be honest. Put this here, open this. Plenty of stuff. It's a spirit heart back, so that's fine. It is actually an angel room, which I'm not going to... Mm, let's fight it. See if we get anything from it. I don't know if we will. But if we do, we can re-roll it. I'm not doing Mega Satan. But I think that's a good opportunity. I don't know if it will re-roll into an angel item, so this is good science as well. Please. We didn't get anything. Okay. And the music didn't stop. But it will when we leave. Kind of hoping for a key piece that we could re-roll, but... Uh, not too concerned about that. We've already crossed the 20 minute mark. This is a slow run, but that is basically entirely due to Ludovico technique being difficult to use. But I still stand by the idea that it could be amazing for us. That look upgrade is nice. And I'm looking for the shop now because they have plenty of money. And we can go in here, which is interesting. Yes, we will do this. This is a good opportunity to just leave my tear on the enemy and run around. I did get this from. Um, I didn't really talk about the friend friendly fly that we picked up because it's not really much to talk about it's just friend zone it's halfway between uh distant admiration and forever alone does a medium amount of damage at a medium distance from me quite happy with it perfectly okay with it let's see if this room is valuable it's not this is one of those opportunities where I go, this looks like a secret room, and I already know it's a secret room, but I put a bomb there anyway, and then go, you've already been in there, you noob. But I realise up front, so this time it doesn't happen. This joker can walk through walls. If any of them... Um, did I pick up Guppy's tail? I must have done. I mastered on. Uh, rune generator is fine. Chaos card wins us the game. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't even expect that to be it. Um... It doesn't entirely win us the game because the, uh, the Delirium only takes damage with Chaos Card. It isn't instantly killed. However, we can now do the Hush fight. I don't really want to open these. We can beat Hush basically instantly. 
We only have to beat the blue baby part, which is easy, because we're going to do that anyway if we want to do the... If, you, if we were trying to hope for a... Um, where's my shot? If we were going to hope to get the void portal at the end of the blue baby run, then we are already confident enough to beat blue baby, right? So why not beat blue baby before hush and then throw the chaos card at hush and then do void? Now I'm hoping that, please, ha <laughs> ha you walked into my trap. Uh, I'm hoping that having Ludovica technique will actually help me against the Delirium fight, but I, I really don't know if that's going to be the case. So these are lucky pennies, always. I quite like this shot. Uh, I will take the Spirit Heart, and again. I think I'll re-roll the items. No, I'll take the battery, because it's good. I will take the Champion Belt, because it's good. I'll re-roll the items. I'll take the 9 volts, it's good. Which gives us a charge. I will reroll everything else. Don't really care about these things. Per throw them. The Bible showed up. We have got a tears upgrade in the coin in the purse. There was a tears upgrade in Mom's coin purse. So I am fully vindicated in that situation. And a bad trip and a range down. The range down doesn't really matter. We'll take Hive Mind, which doesn't really help, so I shouldn't have, but I've got it. And leave. Let's fight mom. It's red mom, which means we just have to walk into it with our fly. I got hit because I stood in the wrong place. That's expected. Anyone's ever seen me play this game before, that would be anything other than unexpected. We keep dodging around. Try and do damage with our tier when the things pop out. And do damage with those. Wow, I didn't like that sound at all. <laughs> uh, it looks like we have Dark Bum. How did we get Dark Bum? We don't have... Did we pick up Cambia Conception? We did. That was smart. Because I took a lot of damage. And now I have Dark Bum. Do, do, do. This is a big floor. It's an XL floor, that would explain it. No item rooms, but our bosses are probably the two in this direction. So let's let's check that out. I walked into that shot. In fairness, normally you would just pay some fucking attention. I mean, we do have to get to the hush fight in time, I guess. So there is that. So I'm hoping that I'm right about this. Oh, that was... I dodged slightly too far. I knew what I was doing, I just did it wrong. I'm glad that we picked up the stopwatch, especially since it's so cheap. Dark Bum has got my back, so it doesn't really matter. We could take that, it would probably synergize well with Dark Bum, but again, Dark Bum is already doing pretty well, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal. And here are our boss fights, so I was correct for once. We will fight Sisters this. Oh, actually, Hive Mind does help with the supplies that we're getting from our trinket. So that's actually pretty happy making. Just let you uh, bounce around a bit as you wish. That fight became a little bit too easy. Magic mush. Yes, please. It says all stats up, but it is not in fact a uh, teaser. So fuck you, game. Not the same game. 67% chance at a deal with the devil, which we can reroll. Or we save our reroll for the hush fight. I mean, the hush floor, which actually, now I think about it, it seems like a much better idea. Although, if we do get a deal with the devil, I'll probably take it. I've been sitting down too long, and it's starting to be a problem, so I should do something else. Bop, bop. No. Okie dokie. Got the chaos card. Whew. I did check just after I went down the portal, so if I didn't have it, that would be a bit embarrassing. Don't fuck it up as well. It's dead easy to screw up the chaos card. Dark bum. Just take it. Take it all. More like a dark bummer. I don't know if the parasite... It does do something. It gives us extra tears, right? No. <laughs> okay. This is a rechargeable shop as well. Oh, it continues to make tears whilst it's doing damage. 
I'm down with it. I don't want either of Varicose veins means you do Tammy's head when you get hit. I don't like it. Cupid's arrow is also bad. Uh, there is nothing in this shop that will help me. Kind of hoping for 48 hour energy, but it wasn't the case. Although, what makes you larger? Infested. Speed up. Range down. Something's wrong. Range down. What makes you larger? I can't see. Speed up. Can you give me a teaser? No? Okay. Just take the chaos card and go. Um, in that case, why don't we take... We should have taken Leo. And then... Um... Oh, Leo is not a speed downgrade. I'm sorry. Say that again in English. Leo is not a tears downgrade. That's what I thought you said. I don't believe you. We did find a crawl space, which is why you're supposed to do that. Not much in here, but Dartbun could hook me up with a spirit heart, which we may need afterwards, but I doubt it. We're going to throw the chaos card at Hush. This is not going to last long. So the only reason we might need that is if we take damage against the blue baby part of the fire, which is feasible, I suppose. So we leave this here, we let these... Look at these tears, they're just going hell for leather. Uh, although, it did reset some. What is causing it to reset? So what you do is you walk towards it, and then press Q. Yay! That's how you Chaos card, in case you were wondering. Now we go... Oh yeah, key, thanks. Uh, now I've got a charge. How did I get the charge? Don't know. Well, I took Leo, so whatever. So it's flashing. You walk towards it. Okay. I read Reddit and I understand how to get into the void portal. Uh, without... Failing. So something is causing my Ludo tier to reset. Which is annoying. And of course we didn't get what we wanted, i.e. Um, Brimstone. We could yet get a Joker card, I suppose. All is not lost. We didn't get our deals with the devil at the most opportune of times. Why open these? I mean, I don't really know. We have plenty of rerolls, so... I mean, if we had something like Chaos, that would be grand, right? And a stone. Because if we had something like Chaos, then the rerolls could produce things like Brimstone from bosses. But we don't have Chaos. Do I want that Eternal High? It could save me a bit of damage at some point. These are not boss rooms, which is very upsetting. Well, we'll keep going. Could be one up here. At least we don't have to do all of the floors. This uh, technique for this room, where you step into it and then leave again, is actually working out very well. Ah, uh, maybe it's producing a fire and the fire's causing it to reset. We have a Yara room now. Don't know what that's going to do for us. Somehow I exploded on that enemy, but that's okay, we've got plenty of HP. Uh, yeah, don't go into rooms you don't need to do. That's like Isaac 101 right now. The Yara rune versus whatever that was. What was that? Let's check it. Blank room. Answers? It was answers. That's amazing. Alright. We'll take our Yara rune and hope for something that could be yara without being just a silly use of Yara. It's quite nice. <laughs> Our tier being so slow gives it a certain amount of gravitas, which is nice. Uh, I think Algis is actually a better idea, to be honest. The Emperor. I don't trust that to take me to anything other than uh, the Delirium fight, and I don't want to go there yet. We could get an HP upgrade, because there are two Eternal Hearts available. Don't know if it's a good idea. Might be. Well, now that they're close together, I'm just going to straight up do it. I think it's possibly a good idea. Maybe. That's not a tears upgrade, so I'm not completely interested in it. Don't forget you have little brim. So help out when you can't find your tear. <laughs> oh, heck. Alright, don't really need this money. Pretty sure there is no shop 
The bombs might help you against Delirium? I don't know. This is a very touch and go sort of run. I don't really know if we're doing well at all. I don't want to fight that Angel Statue because it doesn't give us anything. I got hit by a shot I didn't even see. I seem to be consistently not seeing the shots from these uh, from these hosts. Annoying. Another Yarra. Another Yarra the Algae's room. How about that? There you go. How is that not a good idea? That is a good idea. That enemy died fast. I like it when that enemy dies fast. Uh, do we want a. Yeah, I think we probably want the super bandage because. I don't know. It just feels right. Oh, that's not good. Power pill. Give me my Algae's room back. <laughs> I think having some more red HP at this stage is not a bad idea. We could find that it drops some enemies and stuff. It seems more reliable than Spirit Hearts. Um, and we're going to need it for the uh, Delirium fight, so... Oh, come on. Stop being squished and pop up. Okay. That one at the end could potentially be the Delirium fight, but I suspect it is not. Kill these, because they're in the way. Okay, get rid of that. Our damage is great, and it's still great. And this is going to be... I was suspecting it to be a little gift, but it was not. Death card. Death card. No, thank you. Uh, Reroll that for what could turn out to be very important HP in the future, so I will leave it there. But with Dark Bum giving us all these HPs anyway, I guess it doesn't matter that much. We've got another Anstos rune. It's not going to be valuable to us at any point. Delirium? Blast assist. Okay, good. I mean, I didn't want to fight Delirium, but there was a chance that we were. So the, the more we can get out of this light, Steven, that's an excellent upgrade. Plus 2.83 damage. Now we can think about going to find uh, the Delirium fight. Honestly, I might re-roll the pajamas. I know it sounds ballsy, but the more items that we can get that actually help us long-term, I think the better we're going to be. Then Emperor, yeah, I don't want the Emperor card. I think it's worth putting the time into this floor rather than trying to skip to the end of it. Of course, we could re-roll other items, but the the PJs is not an item that I'm hugely concerned about re-rolling right now because if we if we take every other item that we're given, then we're going to be doing well, right? Because we can afford to be fairly picky about which items we actually take, especially considering we have uh, the battery which allows us to store two charges on our D6, which is why I took it, because I thought on this floor, there's a strong chance that we're going to go through a lot of these, um, a lot of rooms between bosses, which is the case, apparently. Which means we can reroll twice on each boss. So I'm going to go to the small boss room first. Rather than... Oh, that was bad. I can't fly! That's right. I remember. I'm gonna go to the small boss room first. I don't think these ones can be delirium, so... That seems like they've got a good opportunity to give me something I actually want. War did not give me... Per throw it. Mr. Dolly's teaser? Yes. Wow, okay. That's a really good teaser as well. So we'll take our Elgin's room back. Don't... Step on that. Triacnid is going to die very quickly. Uh, don't want that. We've got a damage upgrade and a range upgrade, and I don't know if that's any good. There is another small boss fight, actually, so that's definitely not Delirium over here, which means we've got another opportunity to re-roll something that's bad. And I may go and re-roll Mr. Dolly, and I may not really bother. Loki on a small room is already dead. We want that. A tears upgrade. We are at the tiers cap. Our tiers cap for this item is 13. Yeah, let's, let's do it. We should definitely do our diligence because we've come this far, right? We managed to get away through the, um, the hush fight without worrying about it. We got there fast enough to do so. We've got a decent enough run to make it work, but it's not decent enough to make me con oh, can't fucking do it yet. What are you even doing? I thought we had a full charge. I wasn't paying attention. It's decent enough 
that we have a chance, but we do have this annoying situation where our, our tier is so slow. We haven't had a single shot speed upgrade that I know of. Um, so... Good. Uh, another perf... Uh, we will uh, get two rerolls at once, basically. Our shot is so slow that... You know, Delirium's going to be bouncing around the room like a mofo. That was bad. I thought I could do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, I told you. Uh, we have our reroll, so let's go. Delirium's going to be bouncing around the room. And we're going to be trying to keep up with it with our Luda Beach Air techniques here. And we're just going to be making ourselves sad trying to achieve that. Uh, so, I, stop giving me things I don't want. So... The more effort we put in now, the more likely we are to actually get something decent out of it. So we'll do that. It's meat. Is this a damage and HP upgrade? Is it a good enough damage upgrade? That's the question. Or do we go a little bit deeper? Yeah, deeper. <gasps> spun? No, it's not spun. Still, that is a shot speed upgrade. Which does make me feel a little bit better about the Delirium fight, but not that much better. Because it's still not that fast. But... It is what we asked for, shot speed upgrade, and this is it. This is our only, this is our best opportunity to beat this, because today has been a good day for Isaac. We've beaten two greed mode runs, greedier mode runs, and if we can beat a delirium run as well, even though one of the greedier mode runs was, in fact, as the wrong character, um, if we can beat a delirium run as well, then that'll be three for three on achievements. I'm just going to leave and <laughs> fight three of those jokers. That is why I dislike those enemies. Fine. Uh, Yarrow Rune does nothing for us. Yeah, I'm happy with this. If we can get Delirium down quickly enough, then we will win. So the only real difficulty is whether we can actually manage to achieve this balance whereby our Ludo techniques here can actually hit Delirium before Delirium disappears. Also, it does keep teleporting back to us for some reason. Well, here we go. In for a penny. We have a reroll, if that's any good. I mean, that felt like it did a lot of damage, but it really didn't. If it gets too close, we have um, Demon Baby to help out. I believe that it is... Uh, we, should, we should pop these. I believe that it is resetting to us when it causes a fire to happen. See, now I don't know where it is. <laughs> where are you? There you are. It's... Excuse me? It's... Th it's half past midnight. Do you know where your tier is? Although we did slow the whole room down. <laughs> so that purchase at the very start of the game turned out to be probably one of the best ones we've ever made. That's what we like to see. Although, we did take damage trying to do that, so... My tear back. What is happening? Stopwatch is for... Oh, fuck off. The Delirium fight, basically what it was for the... Uh... That is not my fire. Okay, okay. That hurt. Uh, what it was for the... Hush! When we needed that. You look towards your tear, have you noticed? So you have some idea about which way to shoot, because you shoot towards yourself, if you want to get your tear back. I know uh, Delirium is slowed down right now, but still being able to surprise me with a mom foot is still shit. I think we're doing well here. We basically should be okay here. See, I'm hearing the mom foot noise, but I'm not hearing a mom foot. And yet, when I wanted to see a mom foot, like when I did hear a mom foot and didn't expect it, it stonked me on the head. So basically, we're paying attention to see whether our tear comes back. And if it doesn't, then we're going to assume that we are quitting on the whole delirium thing. I think it's dead. Delirium is dead. <gasps> we have won! That's... That's several successes in a row. Thank you for that. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, what? <sighs> Several successes in a row. The Infinity has appeared in the basement. All of which have been unlocked on 
various difficult things, although admittedly a couple of them were just, excuse me, a poly on doing stuff. So that's Isaac taken care of. Isaac now has a completed photograph. Uh, Polaroid, no. Post-it note, yes. Thank you for watching. I will now stop recording for today and I will hopefully see you in the next episode whenever I choose to record that. But until then, I'll see you later. <laughs>